Good morning from Matagorda Beach, folks. It's sort of a holiday weekend with the 4th coming up on Tuesday. Uh, at least this is as close as we're going to get to it this year on the 4th. So there's a lot going on you need to be aware of if you're planning on coming down here. But let's start with the beach, number one. Um, so one to twos out here right now with some maybe some threes. We're pretty much going to see two to threes most of the weekend. It could die off down to some one to twos. It's not predicted to get flat, um, and I don't think it will. Uh, we are going to have some light winds most of the time. Um, of course, that's the prediction. You never really know down here. Um, now, the Office of Emergency Management down here is saying there is an uh, increased chance of rip currents this weekend. I'm not exactly sure where they're getting that from, but you should always be vigilant out here, especially on holiday weekend. There'd be a lot of people here. Um, so be careful out there. Watch out for the rips. If you don't swim well, if you don't know how to get out, number one, if you don't know how to get out of a rip, don't go out there. Um, check out our webpage, matagordabeach.org. You can find that and all kinds of other information on the beach probably answer a lot of your questions um, so it's gonna be hot and I know everybody will be out here but be careful again there are life jackets you can borrow at the beach entrance and uh, harbor bait and tackle has some uh, up in town at the harbor so beach driving conditions um, I'll try and get a shot of it going out but the uh, the commissioner and his guys moved a lot of sand this week and they did their best on that beach entrance I don't really know what else they could do, um, but it really doesn't matter. Once you get past the entrance where they plowed it, and uh, it's four by four already, and it's Friday. So, I mean, certainly by tomorrow morning, this beach is gonna get torn up. Uh, you're gonna be up in the soft sand. I just wouldn't even try and come down here in a two wheel drive vehicle, um, you know, from now until, I don't know, when it rains, uh, which is not predicted to happen. So. Um, if you do drive on the beach, uh, don't forget your beach permit this weekend. You know, you can get them at Stanley's and a number of the other places here in town carry permits. Uh, I think Rollins has got them. So uh, stop by, get them there if you need, if you need them. Uh, they will be enforcing those. Uh, I know at least one law enforcement officer will be. Um, so definitely don't get caught with that one. Um, burn ban. We are under a burn ban now. Um, it just went into effect a couple of days ago. Uh, so I know everybody's question is going to be, well, can I shoot fireworks? Um, the answer is yes. The pyrotechnics lobby in, in Texas trumps the public safety lobby. So you can't really ban fireworks in the state of Texas. Uh, so you guys can shoot them off. You can come down here. You can shoot them on the beach. Uh, don't shoot them near houses. And the grass is extremely dry. That's why we're in a burn ban. So, I mean, you're responsible for your flaming sky trash. Uh, so if it lands in somebody's yard, starts fire, uh, you know, that's a bad situation. So just be careful with them, um, you know, as always, and hopefully you won't have a problem. The beach down here is probably the best place in the county to come shoot fireworks if you don't have land. There's plenty of room out here that's sand, and uh, hopefully you won't set anything on fire. Uh, but also, please pick up your trash. With that said, let it sit out there for a while after you've shut it off. Don't throw it right in the bed of your pickup and take off. Uh, I've seen a pickup catch on fire that way. The guy was trying to do the right thing, picked up all his trash, and it reignited in the bed of his truck. Um, so let it sit out there, but please pick up your trash, keep the beach clean, uh, enjoy the fourth. Um, so events going on, um, certainly there's yoga class, tomorrow morning, Saturday, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. this week. Um, also, uh, Christmas in July, the Historical Society is having their fundraiser this weekend. I believe that starts at 9.30, and that's going to be down at Heritage Park. Where is Heritage Park, you ask? That's a good question. Um, when you come into town, you hit the four-way stop sign where you can go left over the bridge or right there to Stanley's. Keep going. Just keep going through the stop sign go down uh, it's a couple of blocks it's down on your left it'll be pretty obvious I believe they've got 30 vendors showing up they're doing a historical auction around 4:30 uh, or so um, and uh, looks like it'll be a good event fun thing to stop and check out something else to do in Matagorda while you're here for the holiday weekend um, I know a number of the uh, restaurants and bars have bands coming into play uh, so you can certainly check all them out uh, check out the Chamber of Commerce page if you're 
if you're looking for most of those businesses and uh, how to figure out what's going on, uh, Matagorda Happenings is also a good one on Facebook. Um, but yeah, so good weekend. Come down, check it out, enjoy it, be safe. Again, we are under a burn ban, so be careful with your fireworks. That does also mean no open, uncontainerized fires. Yes, you can still have a grill and cook, but you cannot have an open fire. Um, so, and that does still apply to the beach too. Um, but again, enjoy your fireworks, be careful, and I uh, hope to see you in Matagorda this weekend.